Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologise um, for a little minor mishap that seems to have happened with Fraps. I uh, started this uh, today's session about an hour ago and uh, upgraded my characters because they all needed levelling up if you remember at the end of the last part. So I levelled them up, I came in, I talked to Bastel actually about um, the visions we were sharing and she said oh a few things like oh we know whatever the force is strong between us etc all the usual mumbo jumbo nonsense and then we came to through the doors here to this ancient droid who told us that uh, apparently this uh, this ancient ruin was built by an ancient race of species called the uh, the builders uh, the builders built the uh, ruin and in and somewhere within here, I think, is the Star Forge, and the Star Forge is some kind of a thing, <laughs> for want of a better term, uh, that is all powerful, a mighty powerful thing, and that is what Revan and Malik came in here for. They came in here to seek the knowledge of the Star Forge. So we spoke with this droid here and he told us, or it told us, that yes, if we want to go through this door to the south and seek the knowledge of the Star Forge, we have to pass some trials uh, through this door here and through this door here. And that's Nemo. Remember Nemo outside in the Dantooine courtyard area? He's dead now because he failed the trials. <laughs> Uh, and we got ourselves a new robe! And Bastila got the old robes. And why am I explaining all of this to you? Because I, rec I was recording with Fraps, someone sent me a message on Steam which basically shut down the game, or minimised the game. I went back into the game, carried on playing, and when I ended the, uh, the session, Fraps was recording a black screen and not the game. So I've lost about 45 minutes worth of footage, so, so I'm having to start again from the earliest save point I could find after entering the ruin, and that was here. So you've missed about half an hour's worth of gameplay, but that gameplay was mainly me talking to this droid and talking to Bastila and levelling up my character, so you actually haven't missed a great deal. So without further ado, we're going to head into this room to take on the first trial. And I actually have done this part as well. So there's an ancient droid here, which is a guardian droid, and I will tell you something. It was hell to woo! It was hell to beat last time. I'm gonna try something new this time. I'm gonna try some grenades. Sonic grenade, maybe? No, it's a. I'll tell you something. It's a bugger to kill, is this? Oh, that's great, they run into the line of fire. Right, um, and he keeps firing out the bolt of flame, it stuns people. Right, I now have burst of speed, so I'm going to try and, you cannot win. Try and cut this thing down. Get out of my way, you're blocking me off, I've got burst of speed here. Ah! Bastel and move! I'm gonna have to move him back. Oh, this is this is great. This is absolutely marvellous. We're stuck in a ah! Damn you, being evilness! Oh, I've lost my burst of speed now. Try again. You are Right, we're off. We're off and running. Let's go, go, go. You cannot win. Woohoo! Oh, Calf is in trouble. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Oh, 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 oh. Woohoo! 
Burst of speed! Catch me if you can, droid face! Oh, he's got me, he's got me! Oh, 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 oh. Keep going! Bastila heals us up. Nicely done, Bastila. Oh. You can not win. Indeed it does, Bastila. Indeed it does. Right, well done. I'll tell you something, it took me about five minutes to kill the droid last time. It took me, what, about three minutes to kill it this time? Much quicker. I mean, because I knew what I was doing. Ancient Terminal! Now, as bizarre as it seems, I did actually get this right the first time. I assume I got it right, and I chose to talk. Talk to a computer. Kind of bizarre, but I thought I'd do it. Go silent. Uh, screen goes blank, and then some characters appear. And apparently, you hear a tone softly echoed by my data pad, and a data receptacle opens at the front of the machine. So naturally, you'd put the damn thing in. So the screen goes blank again, but then more familiar characters begin to appear on the screen. And then I talk to the computer again. The data pad is released, the machine goes silent and flickers into life. And then ask me a question. Identify the three primary life-giving seed world types. So I was... I assume it means types of habitats. So you have like grassland, which could be conducive to life. You have ocean life, which could be conducive to life. And then you've got desert, volcanic, arboreal, and barren. Now, in my opinion, arboreal is like a uh, tree. I think it's something to do with trees. Barren means barren, no no soil, or desert is quite of a not really life, or not conducive to life, and neither is volcanic, so I think it's arboreal. And then it says breaking life seal. I'm not dead, I'm not getting blown up, and therefore I assume that was the right answer. Let's go back out to here and back out to here. I'm going to quick save it now that I'm confident Fraps is recording and also hopefully it won't crash on me. And the reason why I've come here is so that I can utilize return to Ibn Hawk. Our replenishment and recuperation, and then transit back. And then we go. For trial and tribulation number two, whatever shall they bring forth to us? Another garden droid and another terminal. So, shall we dance? I think so. The force is strong here. I feel it. Whee! Oh, hello. Riddle me read. We're off and running. Oh, it's firing at me straight away. Let's go. Full steam ahead, guys. Save no prisoners. Whee! 
<laughs> try and flank it. I don't, I don't think you can flank a droid, really, but uh, we'll try. I don't think. Just, I don't believe Bastler has any force push. Does that work on this thing? <laughs> nope, it's immune. Nice. All right. Keep fighting. <laughs> Yeah, and I did actually equip Valdron with a dual lightsaber now, dual wielding lightsabers rather than one lightsaber and one fibro blade, although it was better stats. A lot of people said, dual wield lightsabers, man! So that's what I'm doing. And Valdron does think it's cool. <laughs> Come on, bring it down! What the hell is this? This does not look good! Oh my god! Time to rumble! Down you go! I don't think cars actually do anything to this thing. Whoa! 19 points of damage. Keep going. Keep going. You ask for this. There. How do you like that? Oh, it's got me again! What the hell? Bastila, ready to cure us here. I'm getting a bit low on health. Oh, nice! Bastila, now would be nice. Don't mean to interrupt you. What can I do? What can you do? You can help it, but heal us! There we go. Then you could probably buff us with Knight's Valor. What can I do? Or maybe get frozen in statue form. <laughs> Let's go! Whoa. Make this quick. Make this quick. Are you taking the mic? Do you see how long that took us? <laughs> right, ancient terminal number two. The ancient computer hums and throbs as you approach it. Its screen flickers to life and a stream of incomprehensible characters scroll across. Let's talk! Unusual characters appear. Rapid sequence of tones echoed by my datapad, so I insert the datapad. More familiar characters appear on the screen. I talk to it again. It flickers into life and asks me some questions. Identify the three primary death giving worlds a desert, a volcanic, and a barren. And therefore, we break the death seal. So we've broken the life seal, we've broken the death seal. Does that mean we have broken the seal to the door? Oh, yes it does. Yes it does indeed, right. Onwards we go. Nice. Are we going to finally uncover the secrets behind the Starforge? The secrets behind Bredman and Malik's intrusion upon these ancient ruins? There's only one way to find out.